The war has changed those words from the CDC as new evidence shows the Delta variant is as contagious as chicken pox. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Brad Bird. And I'm Shelley Kirk. Internal documents from the CDC say infections in vaccinated people may be as transmissible as in the unvaccinated. Now health officials are recommending even fully vaccinated people to wear masks indoors in areas hit hard by COVID. Well, here in the tri-state, cases reached their highest point since the winter. Indiana state health officials reported 162 new cases in Vandenberg County. It's the first time Vandenberg has topped 100 infections since February. But what's being done here in the tri-state to help curb the spread of COVID-19? Eyewitness News, Ryan Whitry takes a look. Please follow the CDC's recommendations and get your vaccine. The numbers are not going in the direction most would like to see. On June 28th, the Tri-State reported 69 total cases, the worst day of the month. In July, the Tri-State has seen 20 days with at least 69 cases, with Vanderburgh County reporting over 160 cases on Friday alone. Doctors say they're starting to see COVID patients from other parts of the country spill into the tri-state, even as local cases increase. Well, locally, we're seeing more cases, you know, on a daily basis. So uh, we're seeing that across the region, and we anticipate that that's going to continue to rise in the short term. Experts say the Delta variant is largely to blame. While it is transmissible, even the vaccinated people, they say getting a vaccine is still the best strategy to avoid serious illness a trip to the hospital, and even death. Those that are getting vaccinated are can still get the disease, but it's much, much milder. Uh, it's much less likely to cause severe impact, uh, severe debility, severe illness uh, to those that are getting vaccinated. Even as cities across the country reinstate their mask mandates, officials here at the Vanderburgh County Health Department say the power is out of their hands. With new legislation, uh, there's not a whole lot uh, local health departments can do. Uh, it's kind of up to uh, uh, local uh, uh, government leaders. Uh, and, and really what we hope would happen is that the state uh, would, would possibly uh, set up something for maybe the, a region or, or the uh, state as a whole uh, because uh, our power has really been taken away from us. Ryan Wittry, Eyewitness News. Vanderbilt County Commissioner Jeff Hatfield says he has not been part of any discussion to reinstate the local mask mandate. Representatives from Mayor Lloyd Winnicke's office say the mayor is monitoring the situation.